Hey guys, so this is my LEGO Ferrari Daytona SP3. This is one of my most favourite LEGO sets that I've had in many years because I'm a big LEGO Technic fan and this is one of the most latest and limited edition cars so far in the LEGO Technic sets. So this is an 80 plus set and with 3,778 pieces. It also, the number of this set is 42143. This is the limited set. I got this in the month of July 2022 and this is only available in the Lego shop and not anywhere else. No Amazon, no Smiths, no other shop, just the Lego shop. So I hope you will enjoy this time lapse of me fixing this Lego Ferrari. I hope you enjoy it. It is a really big set that will probably take me at least one week or so but I don't really know. So. I really love this box, it's really nice. So now I'm gonna open the set. And slide it open. So this is the inside of the set, and this is the front box where you just slide it open. So this is how it looks inside the box. It's like the back of the Ferrari where the exhaust pipes are there. So here there's a picture of a real Ferrari Daytona SP3 in real life. So I think that's a really cool design on the box. And here is the first box. It is really, it's quite heavy. So this is a first box where you have to open it up and fix it up. As you can see, I don't know if the camera can see it, but there are uh, red glaring uh, tyre tracks. Pretty cool, I'd say. This is the second box. It's black now. And it's got these cool edges on the side. There's also some tyre tracks here. And there's the third box. And on this box there are exhaust pipes in, which I think is a really cool essential water. So now I'm going to open uh, box number one. Open this, put it down, and there it is. This is such a good opening to fixing this set. And look how thick the instruction booklets are. First one's really nice. And this is the second one. So together they make the word Ferrari Daytona SP3, you can see. So this is the start of the book, book one. It's Ferrari picture. Then here it says how, the, how it was designed and the heritage of it. And this was the original Ferrari. Daytona, the original Daytona. It was made, I think it was made in 1967. I think it was. Then challenge, how they designed it. This is the real life car in the color white. The wheels, the parts. The car and the Lego car. The engine, gearbox, and yeah, this is how you start it. And 
now I'll just open this and there are the pieces. So now I'm going to fix it. Um, I think all of these parts are just for the gearbox and engine. So let's get into the time lapse. So this is the final result of box one. As you can see, there's wheels in the front and the back. So in the front, you can steer the wheel here. And in the back, if both the wheels move, you can see the piston moves. So let's move on to the second box. So now I'm gonna open the second box. Yeah, this is the second box. So this box includes the packets 3, 4 and 5 and here it is. So let's get on with the time lapse. So this is the finishing product of box number two, so let's open box number three. And here it is. So there's wheels and some four tires and packets. Let's fix it.
this is the finished product of all the three boxes and it took within it I built this within three days and if you built it continuously it would have taken seven hours for this to finish this whole set so I'll show you all the features of this car so let's get into the interiors So as you can see here, there's a lever here that opens the doors. So just press it. This one. So as you can see here, there's blue bucket seats and there's one piece on the top, right here and right here, which has a Ferrari symbol. So they, these two pieces are both printed. As you can see here, there's a gear that shifts thrice. Next, we have the paddle shifters that move also, that also move. And finally, we have the steering wheel. So, on the steering wheel, we have a piece, a yellow piece that has a Ferrari symbol. So, this piece is also printed. And when you move the steering wheel, the wheels move. Move it again. So that's it about the interior. So here we have the front of the car and there we have a printed piece, the Ferrari logo. So all the pieces in the set are printed. There's also one here. Then you can open the bonnet. Then the, also here, the, here there's a stand where you can keep the bonnet up and make it stay up so each Ferrari set has its own unique serial number there's mine, it's on the side of the bonnet and you can see some gears here so these gears uh, these gears move when you turn the steering wheel so just move it and that's it about the bonnet The wheels are very well crafted and as you can see so on the brake shoe there's the name a printed name and here there's a Ferrari symbol so in the back there's this exquisite design it is really cool and there's exhausts here which I think is a really cool design to add to the car and if you if I open it back up you can see there is suspensions here so this is this is how the car actually kind of bounces it also works on the front too Here there's the V8 engine, it is a bit covered, but underneath these pieces are pistons. So there are 16 pistons all together. There, as you can see. These pistons move when the car moves, and yet if you shift the gears, in some gears the piston does not move, and in some they do. So that's it for the Ferrari. So this is an extra piece in this set. It, sh it shows all the specs in the Ferrari Daytona SP3 in real life. And I think this is a really, really cool part of the set. It tells all the powertrain, maximum power, maximum revs, everything about this car. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you enjoyed this video 
press the subscribe button, like and share this video to your friends. In the comments down below, share your ideas for the next Lego creation I should make. So I hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next video. Bye!